Hello YouTube. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whatever you are doing, wherever you are. Um, I hate to say it, I'm back. How cringy is that? Started every single YouTube video I've ever made with that. Um, but I do hope this is the re-arrival of me and YouTube. Um, I need to do this. I have, to, okay, let's just cut to the chase straight away. I have actually filmed three videos so far on prep and hated every single one of them. So I went to edit them and they just weren't me. I feel like I was trying to put on a bit of like, it wasn't being fake in any way, shape or form because it was me. I am me. I can't try and be anybody else, but it just wasn't the content that I wanted to put out. I was trying to be less chaotic than I am because I was like, oh, like, make a nice YouTube thing. Like, fuck that. I am here. I am back. I am living. I am thriving. I'm going to film the content that I want to film. I'm going to try and stop making it look all fancy and youtube -y. So, I am here. It is currently... Tomorrow will make me 18 weeks out from my first bodybuilding show. And I will also enter week nine of prep. So yes, I am well into prep now. Well into prep. Might not show much in this video, to be honest. I am going to do a really big sit down section um, in a short little while after I've done my jobs for the day, just to sort of explain what the last eight weeks have entailed. I took to Instagram yesterday and asked for you guys to pop me some questions. Just anything that you were curious about um, and I did actually get quite a lot so thank you for everyone who asked but yes this is me I am back I'm hoping this, this is the return of weekly videos and the reason I've started to refilm by the way like I would have put those videos out that I filmed but I feel like from tomorrow's check-in things are going to really start to feel preppy i feel like at the moment it literally has just been a diet um an aggressive one don't get me wrong and a lot has happened but i do just feel like the content that i was making was so boring and it was just there wasn't a lot to say week on week whereas i feel like when i tell you why you'll understand it but i feel like things are going to stop moving so this is me i am back hopefully please by the way comment what you want to see like if there's anything that you're interested in specifically on prep like if there's anything you want me to dive into um just because obviously day days are very similar days are very the same so i don't actually really have a lot to show you but i'm hoping i can just pull my finger out of my ass but today's first task is to get these bad boys sorted god that took me way too long to figure out how to turn my hand around um look at those those are hideous my nails have never looked this bad i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because I don't know basically they've all fell off so i'm about to go and get my nails done um then i am training i've got an upper session today and i'm actually filming with um mr nathan brumley whose instagram i will leave below um who is a fellow online coach and somebody that i've met through the gym who is absolutely That's fabulous so nice what uh that's siri um yeah somebody that i've met through the gym and um, have spoken to him quite a few times so we are going to have a training session together not sure if i'm going to bring the camera and film it to be honest i kind of want this to be a bit more of like a let's have an update on where we're at but yeah here is the return switch to the next clip of me with hopefully nice nails <laughs> fresh nails look at those babies i don't know what possessed me to go for these like bumblebee nails but i don't know if it's because it's sunny right now like the weather is actually getting very spring like at the moment and i was like i need something yellow i need something bright but also keep the black because it's what we do um anyway back from nails i'm actually back a lot earlier than i thought i would be which is fabulous i always forget that i usually have sometimes like designs whereas when she just does a fresh like plain color like this oh i love them these are my favorite nails i may have potentially ever had i don't know why that just looks really cute um 
yeah so i've just had um a quick look at work and i've just done a couple of check-ins that came through um and now i am about to eat my pre-workout meal but i've just had a delivery um i also by the way should be getting a very exciting delivery today but i've been ha i've had a few emails that make me wonder if it's coming today but we'll see um so let me prop you up that's quite cute. Um, oh my god, this is this is nothing to do with fitness at all. This is basically just to do with my fake tan routine, and also I don't know if you can tell, I've got a little bit of makeup on. I am really trying to make an effort with myself. I know that might sound really dumb, but I I don't I don't make effort with myself. You would think going to the gym and whatever you think that like self care is just amazing and it just isn't. And yeah, but basically, long story short, I'm trying to get better at like self care, taking time for me, like an hour out of my morning to put a bit of makeup on every day and do my hair and whatever. Um, and also actually have like a solid routine where like I have plenty of like nice hot baths and stuff like that so i've been really into my skincare at the moment which i think is massively paying off i ordered a shitload of makeup yesterday like fresh makeup um and then i also thought you know what seeing as you're just spending money for the sake of spending money also buy something else absolutely ridiculous but this looks fantastic it's well i've just shown it you it's it's is that estrid or estrid um i see these all over tiktok all of your tiktok influencers promote this so if you're watching i'm i'm happy i'm happy to promote i'm happy to promote um but yeah when self-care meets body hair good feelings happen so basically i just bought one of those it's estrid estrid i've got no idea how you say it um razors and i've signed up to the subscription of it because even little things like shaving is gonna have to be considered as self-care on prep because there's not a lot else we can do so i got a yellow one too why i'm i'm obviously loving yellow at the moment um but i've been fucking waiting for this for ages that's why i'm showing it you guys because i'm that that's how excited i am about this um because i've literally ordered this weeks ago how cute your body your choice love that Oh, I'm here for this packaging. How cute. There's the razor. <laughs> Who do I think I am? I promise I am not doing this and I didn't order this in hopes of like a fucking brand deal, but whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> How cute. Always remember, your body is beautiful. It is the most incredible, amazing thing you will ever own and there isn't any other like it. You are one of a kind. Nice. Do you know what? I'm here for this. I'm here for this. Um, and then this is the main thing that I really wanted, to be perfectly honest. It's actually the reason why I went on the website, because I've heard that this is very good. Um, I I mean, I don't know if you can tell. Probably not. Um, I love fake tan. I love fake tan. I really do. It makes me feel better about myself, even though I do cardio and it sweats off within a few days. Um, so I got this vegan sugar scrub, um, which I am very excited about. I don't actually know something's telling me this is like a watermelon scent um but i'm not sure oh my god wow okay can you even see that no how do i get things to focus there you go look at that that smells great that smells great so anyway a little pointless um <laughs> little pointless haul for you there um anyway yeah it's currently half past one so i do need to get a move on i am going to the gym like i said i don't think i'm taking the camera um because i I, like, I just want this video to be a little bit chatty i will film some training over the next few weeks um but yeah i'm gonna have my pre i'm also really excited because obviously I, I have dark chocolate but i have to have like 70 percent. i can't have so in my off season i was just having like the lint like orange and almond one i think it was that i was obsessed with um but now i have to have 70 percent. but lidl sell these so this is salted caramel and this is raspberry 
and we don't have a lid on near us and my best friend went the other day and I asked her if they had any to pick me these up but I have an awful feeling Louis is going to take all of my dark chocolate away and check in tomorrow so maybe a little bit of a pointless thing but gonna try them gonna train and then I think the next part of this video guys I'm gonna sit and chat everything prep what I've been doing how I'm feeling and where the fuck we're going with it okay hello here we go the part of the video that i actually wanted to film and is going to be the main section for this vlog and basically the end of it i feel like i could have just probably started here sat down filmed it and uploaded just this but i thought i'd give you a little bit more um so buckle up um because this could end up being chatty so we're just going to dive straight in. I obviously, well, I say obviously, I am currently, as of tomorrow, 18 weeks out from my first ever bodybuilding competition. And I have, as of tomorrow, completed my first eight weeks of prep. So what I'm going to do when i take my checking photos tomorrow is somehow figure out how to upload on this part of the screen day one of prep to now so this will be eight weeks um don't know how i'm gonna feel about tomorrow's check-in but we have lost a tremendous amount of weight so i know that it is going to be visible <laughs> within these photos how i feel about it i'm not sure i'm sure i'll update you in the next video um but so obviously I have completed eight weeks of prep now and like I said before I did try and film some videos in fact I, I did I did film them I filmed some full days I filmed some full days of eating um I filmed some updates and I just didn't like them I just wanted to sit down start afresh and have a sort of like this kind of style video it was like the first video of prep and also I'm obviously about to dive into what the first eight weeks of prep have entailed and I think once I tell you what is to come that's why it's going to make sense with that I've kind of just started from here and not finished off those videos that I originally filmed so I started prep on the 2nd of January which was the first Monday of the year um, and my show day is the 2nd of July so in total I believe that is 26 weeks of prep that I will be doing before my first show of the season. Yes, I want to do more than the one. No, at current, I have no idea what other shows I will do. I have no idea if I'm aiming for certain different feds, certain different dates. I just do not know. I do not want the pressure of it right now. I simply just want to do prep and do my first show, obviously. As we get deeper into prep, the leaner I get, we will have more of an idea of my shape and sort of what other shows will be possible and feasible for me to do. But right now, the 2nd of July is going to be my first show of the season, which is the PCA First Timers in Birmingham. Um, we were always going in for this show, to be honest. I need to stop spinning because that's going to stress some people out. Um, we were always going in for the show, to be honest, since the minute that PCA um, announced show dates, sort of like the back end of last year. Um, but Louis' sort of tactic for the start of prep, and I fully agreed with it, and I'm very appreciative that he did it this way, was to not register until we had originally was going to be a solid eight to ten weeks of prep he did let me register two weeks ago so i was sick i'd done six weeks of prep when he allowed me to register so that may show you the rate at which we are progressing i'm not really sure take from that what you will i took it as a really big positive and has pushed me on for the rest of prep um so yeah i kind of went in blind but also kind of went in with that thought of pca first timers birmingham would be my first show so first eight weeks of prep um i have lot well as it stands right now today i have lost 
15 pounds i believe obviously it's my check-in day tomorrow that is likely to be a little bit lower it also might not be i am currently on my period so who the hell knows but we've basically shed off a lot of body fat in this time in fact i will put here as well my starting weight for prep and i will put my weight that i was tomorrow on check-in just so you can also see where exactly i am at um so yeah the the idea with louis was that we would go in with an aggressive first eight weeks which is what we have done so i have had so many questions you're already doing daily cardio why is your cardio already so high we wanted to get this fat off i've never done a prep i've never been as lean as i need to be this is a completely unknown territory for myself and also for louis as my coach um you know he needs to understand how my body works i need to understand how he works i also need to understand a prep you know louis has coached me through mini cuts he has also coached me through two really successful growing phases but a prep is completely different so in our, our sort of plan was to shed off as much body fat as we could and as much weight as we could in the first eight weeks with basically just i say an aggressive style it actually really hasn't been my food is still in a relatively good spot i don't know my calories i will hold my hands up i'm not sure but i do know that they are not i would say low right now um yes i am doing cardio every single day and that has been inputted in since the start of prep but yeah basically let, i'm just i'm retracting i'm getting i'm getting ahead of myself so day one of prep um i know full well at the start of prep that my training day calories were 2400 on a training day and they were around 2000 basically around 2000 on a rest day i have had drops throughout the whole of prep um but they have you know to be completely honest they haven't been noticeable like i'm sitting here right now it's six o'clock on a training day and i have two meals left for the day and i literally could go to bed that's that's how hungry i am right now hunger is still pretty much irrelevant it's not really there don't get me wrong i have felt hungry throughout prep but i haven't you know I, I right now we're pretty good so i say aggressive it's been more so aggressive on the side of energy expenditure so when we started prep um it was 25 minutes of cardio a day i am now at 45 minutes of cardio a day so in eight weeks we have jumped up by 20 minutes of cardio which again i don't really think is too bad to be perfectly honest um my steps at the start of prep were 10k and i was allowed to wear my apple watch on the stairs so the first three weeks of prep i was able to wear that and i pretty much got my steps in that way from week three of prep i was to take this off however my steps did still stay stay at 10k um so that was absolutely fine it was just a case of i usually within within that got around 4k steps done with my cardio so obviously it was just an extra 4k steps onto my day that was outside my steps are now 13k um so we've jumped up 3k steps since the start of prep which i really don't think is too bad um steps are definitely however my hardest thing i am an online coach i'm currently sat in my office um so i do a lot of my day just sat in this exact chair in this exact position in fact right now i'm literally on 4300 steps and it's six o'clock at night so but that that's that's just me that is just something that i know that i have to do on prep i'm okay with it i'm fine i enjoy going for a walk in the evening i have however ordered a walking pad which is supposed to be coming today 
I'm not really holding much hope because it's six o'clock and it's nowhere to be seen and I don't really have much tracking information, but I do have a walking pad because of everything I've just said. Steps are the hardest thing for me, um, just from the nature of my job. I just don't do many steps on the daily. But from a 10K to a 13K jump, I really don't think it is that bad. Um, and in general, it has been a breeze. So... I said this was going to be a bit of a long section. It's going to be more so long because I am going to answer some questions that I got given on Instagram. Um, but that that's kind of where we're at. Like I'm at. So so to summarise, at this very moment in time, I am doing 45 minutes of cardio every single day, which is the stairmaster. I do 13,000 steps. I wear a weighted vest for the majority of my steps. So if I'm just going to the gym, going to the shop, blah, 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 I won't wear it. When I'm actively going outside for a walk, which is a lot of the time, I do wear my weighted vest. Food, I'm not 100% sure on my calories. However, in last week's check-in, so for this final week of the aggressive stage, um, I have had a lot of carbs shed off me. So my rest day, I only have one meal that has a carb in it, which is rice. And then in a training day, I only have carbs pre-workout and post-workout. However, the exciting thing is that from tomorrow's check-in, which I will do another video on, I'll start that afresh as sort of like prep series two, we are going to high, low and medium days, which is where I feel like this is going to start to feel like prep. So as it currently stands, being completely honest, I just feel like I'm dieting. I've definitely had some weeks of feeling low, so a week six for me, I was pretty hungry, um, like not, not starving by any means, but I was definitely like, or I was waiting out for meals, I was filling up on like Pepsi Max, drinking water like a fish. Um, the start of this week, so my check-ins are a Saturday, so if I ever get any changes, they're from a Saturday. On Monday this week and also on Wednesday this week, yeah, um, I was very emotional. Like, the lack of carbs hit me. I was extremely drained. I felt just like a shell of myself as a human being. I did then, however, come on my period. I'm also on my period six days early. I'll let you take from that what you will. I'm not just going to discuss my menstrual cycle until it officially does one, which I think it will. It's already showing signs of it being on its way out, but that's, again, a different story. Um, I just had to stop recording and go back because my brain just completely forgot what I was talking about and I was just looking at the camera, like, really dumbfounded. So if this looks in a slightly different angle, that's why. In fact, let me try sort it. Oh, I probably should have done this before I clicked play again, but oh well. There we go, that's slightly better. Um, so yeah, energy levels definitely dipped. I still didn't really feel hungry, but I did just feel like very drained. I also got very in my own head about a lot of things. Um, however, I've had a new lease of life and I am very excited to go into this next stage of prep so with a high low and medium days obviously this it this this basically relates to carbs so i'm gonna have some low days which i imagine are gonna be no carbs slash probably the same as what my rest day currently is so just the one meal medium which i'm gonna assume it's going to be very similar to like what I'm eating now. So my pre-workout and post-workout meals, like two meals and then high days, which I'm going to assume could be a lot of my meals. Most of my meals. I, I don't know. I've never done this before. I've got no idea what to expect. I'm sure I will update you in the next video, but I feel like once you start to bring in high days and low days, that's just a whole big switch up to what I'm used to. I have since the the day that I ever followed a meal plan have simply just run off of a training day and rest day food that is what I am used to so look at this I did by myself a Monday through to Sunday whiteboard 
<laughs> so that when I get my check-ins, I can write high day, low day, high day, because obviously they're just going to be all over the place. I do also believe that I am going to start going to two check-ins a week. So also checking in on a Wednesday, um, just because of obviously then Louis can prescribe high days and low days and whatever. So yeah that's kind of like a little roundup of where we are at as it stands right now i am feeling great like genuinely i am feeling great one of the things that louis said to me when i had my mini sort of meltdown on wednesday was just sort of that i've never done this before and i'm allowed to ask questions and i'm also allowed to feel the way that i feel so i've been very much kind of like I can't be hungry yet because I've got 18 weeks left. I can't be low on energy yet because I've got 18 weeks left. I can't do this yet. I can't this, that. Why do I feel this way? Why do I already have imposter syndrome? Why do I already want to cry on the Stairmaster at this point? Um, and Louis just hit the nail on the head. Like, you have never done this, so you don't know you you don't know how your body's gonna respond. Like, I, I have followed a meal plan now for well i've been with louis nearly two years i was with my previous coach for around four months so i've been following a meal plan for a really long time and i have had even even simple as the fact that i've always had an off plan meal so every single week basically of my entire life apart from when i was doing silly stupid diets um i've had an off plan meal I'm even at that stage where I don't have those anymore. So it's like my body is at the at the moment going through something it has never been through. And I'm basically just allowed to feel the way that I feel. And I think that's also why I want to pull this camera out. And I really want to document as much as possible because I know with the type of people that follow me on Instagram and also my clients... I don't have, I don't imagine I'm going to have many people who are seasoned athletes. So I imagine if you're watching this, you're just interested in seeing what I'm doing or you potentially might compete one day. I don't really know. So I just want to be open and as honest as I possibly can. And I also just, now that Louis said that to me, just want to fucking feel what I'm going to feel. Um, but coming out of the end of it, I do think a lot of my emotions this week have been because of my time of the month and my period. Um, but I'm genuinely excited to check in tomorrow. And just an overall roundup, I'm just thoroughly enjoying this whole journey. Like I truly, truly, truly am. The structure that it's given me, the way that I feel when I go and train now, the way that I just, like even, even the days where I don't want to do my cardio, that feeling of, excuse me, satisfaction when I step off of it and I've done what I need to do. Like it's just great. So I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it excuse me it's so dirty of me this is what you get um yeah i'm just i'm just loving it and i'm feeling great and i'm excited to get this video out there and then finally start like actually vlogging some stuff because we have some really cool things like i've ordered my bikini yes i literally have already ordered and paid for my bikini um i ha have my bikini from black ice which i was very torn to do black ice or if to do miss bikini um but i feel like for my first time i really want to have that experience of going to the black ice bikini shop and standing in front of the wings and um if you don't know black ice is a very big um bikini range they have their own shop in manchester i just wanted that whole experience and that is who i have gone for and i am obsessed with my bikini i know the question is going to come yes i think i will reveal it before i step on stage to be perfectly honest just take a look at me right now it's it's not going to be rocket science for you to t for me to tell you what color my bikini is i'm not going to sit here and say it but i think we're all gonna we all know what color my bikini is going to be so it's not exactly going to be a shock on show day i don't need to do a bikini reveal but i'll definitely show it um and i just yeah i just I'm, I'm excited i feel really like i've had eight weeks now to get myself into the groove and i'm just buzzing i feel like i have a sense of purpose i wake up every day i've got my shit to do i've got my goals and it feels great so yes that is where we are at i did also yesterday take to instagram um just to see if anybody had any questions because i didn't know like this would have just been a really short sort of video of me sitting and spouting shit um 
So I did take to Instagram, I did ask for some questions and I did get quite a few. So first question, which I've already kind of touched on was, are you on everyday cardio already? And then give us a rundown of what you are doing. So obviously I've kind of done that. And yes, I am already on cardio every single day. I've had this question asked quite a lot and I don't think I don't think people mean it. I definitely know. So it was it was mad. It was mad coaching who asked me this question, who I have met numerous of times now. If you're watching this, I love you to pieces. You're absolutely stunning. Um and I know she won't have meant this negatively, but I have had some people question like not like they're saying, Oh, you're doing cardio every day. It's it's they've questioned it. They've questioned why I'm doing that and I just, I, I'm doing what my coach is telling me to do. At the end of the day, I've never done this before. And I think what some people don't realise, because whenever this has been asked, it's been asked by people who aren't into bodybuilding. I have a lot of body fat to lose. I have been told that I potentially need to lose around 50 pounds. It's a lot of weight. And like, yes, at the back end of my off season, I was holding a lot of body fat. I wasn't exactly big. Do you know what I mean? 50 pounds off of that frame is a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot of pounds. Um, so yeah, cardio is every day. It's 45 minutes at current daily. However, um, we have discovered, me and Louis, in the sort of last two weeks and just at the changes that we've made and the rate at which my body has dropped off scale weight, I do seem to respond better to a calorie drop rather than a cardio increase. So Louis did give me an indication sort of in my last week's check-in that my cardio would probably stay very, very similar now um, to what it is. Like it probably won't increase for a little bit. And we'll, we'll, this, this is why he's bringing in the high days and low days because my body just seems to react a little bit better to a change in food, which is, is absolutely fine. Everybody's different. Um, and then Mad also asked, shows and dates please must put in the calendar. So as I've already said, 2nd of July, um, I we, we basically just don't know what I'm doing after. This has been something that has been in my head and I think I'll do another sit down section in another video about this, but I've been very sort of like, I, I love this and I want to take this seriously and I can already tell you that I definitely want to, this, this won't be the only time that I compete. I can see myself doing this for a long time. I have visions of things that I want to achieve and I'm, I'm not ridiculous. I know that right now, and this is going to sound stupid because I'm a first timer so it's obvious, but I know that right now I'm not in a muscular enough position to be where I want to be um as for getting lean i've literally got no idea so i've kind of been like we we basically don't know if to try and prolong out a really long season try also for um shows i've, I've looked at a fit x show which is in september um i'm not expecting to get in an invite to the finals however it would be an absolute dream and i would be so happy to but equally it's going to be sort of like is it going to be worth doing that um because if we don't get an invite to the finals then it's kind of going to be like is there any point in from july to september holding on to a physique for a September Fit X show when we could just go into an off season. Like that's, I, I don't know if I've explained that very well. I think I'll do a sit down section probably as we get further into prep to talk about that. But for right now, the 2nd of July is my first show day. I'm definitely not just doing the one though. So even if we don't decide to prolong it and we do just decide to, to put an end to it sort of not far after my first show, I'll definitely be doing a couple more like 110 percent um so amelia who is one of my clients asked me how's prep and managing the business slash my photo shoot girls prep so i'm guessing amelia sort of means how am i coping business wise so if you don't know, I won't dive into this because I know this is more of a personal thing, but I am leveling up my business massively, like massively, massively, massively leveling up my business. And some people would say that I am crazy for doing it whilst on my first prep. 
genuinely i think that right now i have never been so focused both personally and also business wise and i think if you are a client watching this and i will 100 percent take on your constructive criticism if you have it but i think i am a better coach i think i have a better system since starting prep because i'm i'm forced into a routine shit needs doing and i'm also really excited for the things i've got business wise so right now everything is absolutely perfect it's running better than it ever has before um i'm managing the photo shoot girls is actually fine um i will openly admit that i did think to myself i'm on prep i'm putting my girls through prep is that going to be too much my photo shoot girls have four weeks left and i know that with a prep a lot can change but i really can't see it becoming an issue um if it was to prolong if you know let's say my photo shoot girls were in may then yeah potentially it might become difficult but for a march date i, I really don't i think it's absolutely fine um amelia then also asked the hardest part and the easiest part so the easiest part genuinely right now is the food um i love the food people will message me something cruel when i post some of my meals my family take the absolute piss out of me um because of the meals that i eat i love it i love every single meal i don't dread a single meal I love it and I'm also just I'm just not hungry yet I'm managing my meal timings really well so right now for me food is the easiest the hardest part is the steps um just because this is the nature of my job is to to sit here and I mean I'm wasting like half an hour now sat here doing this when I could be out getting my steps but equally like I know that they're gonna get get done if that makes sense so yeah easiest part is the food easy piece of piss right now hardest part would be the steps but they're not even hard it's just a sense of i have to get a lot of them in towards the back end of the day but if my walking pad arrives today i don't think it's going to arrive guys i'm a little bit stressed about it because it wasn't cheap and where is it um so then the next question which kind of relates into something that people asked me in my anon question box was what fat burners am i currently taking so this is going to touch on a topic let me get up some of the questions because i then got asked one sec this is really attractive of me by the way uh, okay i can't find the questions so i then got asked in the anon question box was not a question but thank you for being so honest with bodybuilding it's very rare athletes admit to using even things like clen or the daily struggles so it's appreciated so i at current am on nothing other than a shop bought supplement from conte sport called pre-shred it's a fat burner um it is something that if one of my clients came to me and said should i buy this i would say no i still don't believe that fat burners as such as that really work admittedly it makes my cardio a little bit easier it makes my heart rate high and i get the sweats like something cruel so the pre-shred that i'm currently using is um it, it's definitely doing something do i however think it's helping me lose any more body fat than normal i'm i'm really not sure i've been taking it for a week so i couldn't tell you so at the moment that is all i am taking however in two weeks time i will be taking your himbine which if you are not sure what that is your himbine is a natural root basically and it is a natural fat burner which is accepted within natural bodybuilding so this when i start taking himbine i will still be classed as a natural athlete it's completely natural um yeah it's basically completely natural i think 90 percent of your natural bodybuilders also take it because you can it doesn't go against you it's whatever it, it's natural however i have 
also i'm just gonna come out and say it i am not staying a natural athlete um i will do a separate video on this i'm happy to put out a question box if people are interested i'm also happy to answer any questions on instagram or on the comments whatever um but i i'm not going to be staying a natural athlete I don't know if I'll be if I'll stay natural on this prep. We have discussed it. Um, so if I was likely to go on to what this person has said, which is Clen, it is likely going to be in around five to six weeks time. Um, and Clen is 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 a it's an it's an it's not an enhancement. It's it basically means I will no longer be natural. It's a strong fat burner um, that is not permitted in natural federations, and that means I will not be able to compete in natural federation. So PCA is not a tested federation. If you didn't already, if you didn't know that, so um, you can compete with PCA and you can be natural or you cannot be natural they don't test so it's basically a case of you just turn up on the day and they just let you crack on with it um so you could be stood against somebody who is an assistant athlete and you could be stood with somebody who is a natural athlete it's it's either or i have just straight off the bat said from day one of me wanting to compete which was a long time ago a long time ago we are talking the first time i ever said i might compete was when i worked for the NHS around five years ago. Straight up, five years ago. I quickly let it go out of my head, but whatever. Story for a different day. Um, but I basically have just always said that I, I would eventually go on to assistance. It has been spoken about in for my off season i will likely go on to things i just don't really want to get into it right now like but i just want to be open and honest about it i will not be staying a natural athlete straight off the bat i will not be staying a natural athlete as it stands at current i have never touched anything so all the mi muscle that i currently have has been naturally built all the fat i have lost has been naturally lost um so i am as it stands a natural athlete but I won't be staying a natural athlete basically throughout my time of competing for my first season I'm not sure I will keep you updated the likelihood is however I will be going on to um fat burners I don't think we will be touching anything enhancement wise so your things such as like Anavar um GH and things like that I don't think we will be touching in fact I just know that we're not we, we won't be touching that in this prep but fat burners such as Clen and things like T3 and stuff, likely I will touch. So straight off the bat, happy to answer questions about it. I'll do another video at some point. So the next question was, let me just get through all the bots. Um, <laughs> one sec, I don't think there was that many. Um okay so another one is your cardio every day yes and if so does it differ on rest days to training days time wise stairs walk bike or is it just the stairs it is 45 minutes every single day regardless of if it's, if it's a training day regardless of if it is a rest day and i just do the stairmaster um i imagine if i asked louis if i could do something else he would say yes but for me i just do the stairmaster it's the easiest excuse me, way for me to get a sweat on and it just, yeah, I do cardio every single day, basically. And it does not differ. And the next question, um, so somebody also said, I'm so interested to see what song you picked for your routine. So I do have my routine done and I am going to be learning it next week. So yes, that's another one. Um and da, 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 da. I think that was it. I think that was it. That was all the questions I got. So yeah, my camera is also flashing at me. So I am just gonna end this video here. I know it's very chatty, it's very long, it's just me sat here waving my new nails around, but I hope that answers questions. I hope that was a decent introduction into prep series baby roads 
oh, I don't fucking know, road to stage, road to figure, <sighs> fuck knows, little tiny muscular girl wanting to be a figure athlete, whatever you want to call it, but that is me, that is me done and dusted, I am now going to go for a walk, I'm going to take this makeup off, and I'm going to work, because that is all that we do on here. I am a fully fledged online coach bodybuilder. It is now my life. It is what it is. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed more videos to come. Hopefully they're a little bit more fun. I also have these. So this is how serious I am guys to the YouTube content. I bought these so that I could film um, whilst I was training. And yeah, <sighs> hopefully I will see you very soon.